Proteinuria refers to the presence of excess proteins in the urine, a condition that ideally should not occur because the kidneys act as filters, letting extra salts and fluids pass through while preserving proteins. Now, let's talk about creatinine levels. Creatinine is a waste product produced by the muscles during physical and metabolic activities and is usually filtered out by the kidneys. The amount of protein in the urine and the amount of creatinine in the blood provide some very insightful information about kidney health. When the kidneys are damaged, they may not be able to filter creatinine as effectively. This can cause the creatinine level in the blood to increase. Additionally, when the kidneys are damaged, they may also leak protein into the urine. This can cause the protein level in the urine to increase, causing proteinuria. So, what are some of the symptoms of proteinuria? One common sign is foamy urine, indicating the presence of excess proteins. Swelling, particularly in the hands, feet, or face known as edema, can happen when damaged kidneys are unable to regulate fluid balance. You may also feel fatigue, weakness, and a general feeling of being unwell, as your body may be lacking many amino acids that it needs from proteins. Proteinuria indicates kidney damage, and kidney damage can show up in the form of high blood pressure. Because damaged kidneys are less likely to regulate fluid levels, and as fluid levels increase in your body, including salts and water, it can potentially increase your blood pressure. High blood pressure itself is a major risk factor for kidney disease. Kidney damage can lead to high blood pressure, and high blood pressure can lead to kidney damage. Now, the effects of proteinuria on the kidneys are not to be underestimated. Persistent protein leakage can contribute to inflammation and scarring of the renal tissue, impairing your kidney's ability to filter blood effectively. Over time, this damage can lead to chronic kidney disease, a severe condition that can eventually result in kidney failure. But did you know there's a vitamin that can help us treat proteinuria fast? Well, if not, then stay tuned because in today's episode, we'll learn about some very effective remedies, vitamins and tips to treat proteinuria quickly. Let's begin. Number 1. Vitamin D Low vitamin D levels have been associated with fatigue, weak bones and muscles, and a faster decline in overall kidney health. On the other hand, taking vitamin D naturally or by supplements has been shown to help relieve and treat proteinuria. In fact, studies show that vitamin D deficiency is very common among patients with proteinuria, kidney damage, or chronic kidney disease. A 2017 study showed that about 30 to 70 percent of patients with chronic kidney disease had low levels of vitamin D in their bodies. Moreover, a 2019 meta-analysis of 12 studies found that vitamin D supplementation significantly reduced proteinuria in patients with chronic kidney disease. Why is that so? Well, first of all, vitamin D facilitates calcium absorption from the gut, ensuring adequate calcium levels in the blood. Calcium is essential for proper kidney function, as it helps maintain the structure and function of kidney cells. Vitamin D has also been shown to have anti-inflammatory properties, which means it can help prevent inflammation in your body, including your kidneys. Moreover, some recent studies have shown that taking vitamin D supplements in calculated doses can help reduce proteinuria quickly. Many experts recommend taking 25 micrograms of vitamin D per day. But of course, that may not be suitable for everyone, so you should consult your doctor to get the appropriate dose of vitamin D supplement depending on the severity of your condition and individual needs. It's also possible that you might still be deficient in vitamin D even when you are taking enough vitamin D from foods or supplements. There's a mineral that's crucial for vitamin D absorption and metabolism. We'll also learn about it, so stay tuned. Number 2. Vitamin K2 As mentioned before, vitamin D helps our body absorb calcium, which is crucial for bone health and a bunch of other bodily functions. But here's the twist. Without enough vitamin K2, calcium can end up in the wrong places, like your blood vessels or your kidneys. That's a big problem because it can lead to calcification, which happens when there's too much calcium in your blood vessels, causing issues like stiff arteries, high blood pressure, and potentially damaging your kidneys. Now, when you take vitamin K2 along with vitamin D, it helps direct that calcium to the right places, like your bones, while preventing it from building up in places where it can cause trouble. So taking vitamin K2 along with vitamin D can be a smart move. 
especially if you already have high calcium levels in your blood or if you have proteinuria or kidney damage. Number 3. Reishi Mushrooms Not a vitamin, but reishi mushrooms are probably one of the best natural remedies to help treat proteinuria and repair damaged kidneys. They contain certain compounds that may have protective effects on the nephrons, those tiny filtration units in your kidneys. A 2018 study published in the journal Phytotherapy Research found that reishi mushroom extract significantly reduced proteinuria levels in patients with IgA nephropathy, a type of kidney disease characterized by excessive protein leakage in the urine. One 2019 study published in the journal Phytomedicine reported that reishi mushroom extract improved kidney function in patients with chronic kidney disease by reducing inflammation and protecting kidney cells from damage. Studies suggest that reishi mushrooms have antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties, which means that they can effectively neutralize harmful free radicals that could damage kidneys and cause inflammation in them. Some studies also suggest that they can help protect the outer layer of nephrons, making them less absorbent. This protective effect helps prevent the breakdown of nephrons, helping to treat proteinuria and reverse kidney damage. You can find reishi mushrooms in various forms like extracts, powders, or supplements. The recommended dosage typically falls between 750 and 1100 mg per day, but always consult your healthcare expert to get the recommended dose according to your individual needs and condition. Number 4. Angiotensin Receptor Blockers Angiotensin receptor blockers, or ARBs for short, are commonly used to manage various conditions like high blood pressure, heart failure, and kidney diseases. ARBs work by blocking the action of a hormone called angiotensin II. This hormone causes blood vessels to constrict, leading to increased blood pressure. By inhibiting angiotensin II, ARBs may cause blood vessels to relax and dilate, and lowering blood pressure. This relaxation effect may also reduce the pressure within the kidney's filtering units known as glomeruli, helping to decrease the leakage of protein into the urine. Number 5. Magnesium Magnesium deficiency is very common in people with kidney diseases. When there's not enough magnesium, it can mess with how vitamin D works in your body. In fact, studies show that without enough magnesium, about 75% of kidney patients end up storing vitamin D but can't use it effectively. This is mainly because magnesium helps to convert vitamin D into calcitriol. Calcitriol is the form of vitamin D that interacts with vitamin D receptors and exerts its biological effects. So without enough magnesium, the conversion of vitamin D into calcitriol can hamper, reducing vitamin D's activity in the body. Not just that, magnesium also facilitates the absorption of vitamin D from the intestines into the bloodstream. So enough magnesium levels help ensure that your body absorbs enough vitamin D from foods or supplements you take. Aim for a dietary magnesium intake of 400 to 420 mg per day for adult men and 310 to 320 mg per day for adult women. You can take enough magnesium from leafy green vegetables, nuts, seeds, and whole grains. You can also take magnesium supplements as per the advice of your healthcare expert. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel to support our mission to help improve your health. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.